Bir biraz daha quiz. Omno Party After Travel var. Well, welcome from Oben to you all. This is our news hour. I am Thomas Kamulat. Those were the airlines. Now news in detail. Head of the European Urban Development Announcing Bureau, Dr. Grimamante said his bureau will work with the attention on preventing land on preventing farmers' land from legal brokers. Land ownership certificate has been given for 314 Dukem Town farmers. Olka Baundum has more from Johannes Bantis reports. Residents of Dukam Town is one of the victims by land ownership for years. Mayor of Dukam Town, Konjita Dese, said the town administrative is ready to respond over the residents' complaint. Our town administrative is working with maximum efforts to realize our residents' benefit from their our land. In this regard, in the first round, 152 land ownership have got a new land ownership certificate. In the second round also, 340 individuals will get land ownership certificates, she said. Head of the Oromia Urban Development and Housing Bureau, Dr. Grimaman for his past said, land ownership certificate will benefit the society at all. The land our farmers do not get what they have to get from their land. This is because of brokers and rent seekers. Now after, our farmers will never give an attention for such propagandas. I want to congratulate you all for getting the ownership certificate. Dr. Grimada that farmers have to give much more nursing for their land in order to benefit from it. Farmers who have got the land ownership license also said they are fully happy for the recognition they got. We are connected. I'm really feeling so happy. Now after, I can confidently speak as I am the owner of my land. Previously, we have faced many problems to get this license. For your surprise, we get difficult even to reconstruct our house. But now, we are really joyful. According to Dukam Town Mayor, many contractors and businessmen are working with maximum effort in the town, whereas the others are in delays. Because of the delays of contractors, the administrator have cancelled the agreement of 20 investors. We have cancelled of 20 agreements over the development delay and happen and working over it for another timely development. This land was simply without use and development for more than 10 years. We lost huge benefit from it, she said. Adding the town administration will support businessmen who are fully interested in developing the town as well. Ethiopian embassy at Sudan underscores that working on illegal migration is mandatory to save citizens from unnecessary sacrifice. So the check up on this as detail. Ethiopian nationals living in Sudan said they are ready to get back to their country if they get conducive environment. A number of Ethiopian migrants pass through Sudan and they use Sudan as a turning place while they are migrating to different Europe and the North American countries. Some migrants told Oben that they are living a difficult life since they are unable to get Sudan identity card even if they lose their many years. <laughs> Due to many reasons, we are suffering with a difficult life. We went to back to our countries. Really, we regret it, she said. We need that our problems solve it and get back to our countries. Here in Sudan, there is a lot of problems with migration. Head of Diaspora Department with Ethiopian Embassy at Sudan, Amsadu Abte said, they are working to get back to their countries, a number of Ethiopians, by discussing with them. Here in Sudan, life Life has become difficult for migrants, so it has been working in the country to get back them. And I said, more workers are expected from Ethiopian government to provide good opportunity for the migrants. Experts said Prime Minister Dr. Rabi Ahmed has created spirit of hope among the people and is leading the country on the right track. So Richard Kapanisa compiles in Aspire. Experts have said they would share Prime Minister Dr. Abiy's ambitions and expressed their strong belief in his leadership in the fight against corruption. Head of the School of Journalism and Communications at Addis Ababa University, Assistant Professor Makriya Makasha said the discussion the Premier has made so far with the people of Ethiopia and the neighboring countries is what is expected from a quality leader. <laughs> He is feeling the gap that existed before 
which is less communication between the leader and the electorate. And as the speeches he made in Romia, Amhara, Hawassa and other parts of the country has created peace and then shared any hope among the people of Ethiopia, he said. Mokri pointed out that the visit of Prime Minister has made to the neighboring countries is important in boosting up bilateral ties with neighboring countries and that is a smart move. Assistant Professor at the Faculty of Law and Federalism at Civil Service University, Dr. Salomon Barnaba said that the Prime Minister in the first one month in his office helped to sustain peace and stability in the country. He added the initiative he took regarding fighting corruption is also commendable and must be in a practice by enforcing the rule of law. Dr. Konstantinos Brutesfa, Professor of Public Policy at Addis Ababa University, said on his part what the Prime Minister has been doing so far is, is to go around and listen to the community and install helping the young people and the white population. The population is ready to support the new prime minister with his initiatives. Um, the fact that the violence stopped almost overnight uh, all over the country, and especially in Oromia, is proof that the impact of the prime minister's meeting with uh, the different sectors of the populace is having results. He added that having a discussion with the important neighboring countries is basic, both from the economic and the security point of view. As Djibouti is Ethiopia's main economic corridor and the Sudan is sharing similar geopolitical setting. And I hope he can continue with it to inform his um, political party and his government so that he can have people that are placed on merit basis. Welcome back. You're watching Oben with me, Thomas Kamulat. Now news from abroad. Malaysian ex-Prime Prime Minister Najib Razak has resigned as president of Omno Party and chairman of the Barsan National Coalition, which ruled the Malayan for 60 years, with immediate effect of the, after the, he was issued a travel ban. Najib said his deputy Ahmed Zahid Hamid who is also the former deputy prime minister, would take over as the new president of the United Malay National Organization, UMNO, the main party in the Bersan National Alliance. The resignation came after Najib was barred from leaving the country on Saturday and reported that the government was responding investigation in a multi-billion dollar corruption scandal at the state founding he found. He founded Malaysian Immigration Department announced that travel ban moments after the scandal police Najib said in a Facebook post that he, he and his family were taking a post-election holiday overseas starting from the Saturday would, ex would return next week. Al Jazeera reported. That's it for now. Many thanks for joining us. Have a good time.